Welcome to the Blue Futon. Chase Saki here with another review coming out of that box. And this review out of the box is Let's Kill Ward's Wife. So interesting, this is a Wellgo USA release, which those are usually Korean, Asian, Japanese, Chinese releases coming to America so we can watch it. So this is different. It's an American movie. Have I seen it? No. But let me watch it and I'll let you find out if we should have killed Ward's wife. Let's go. Just got done watching Let's Kill Ward's Wife. This movie has Scott Foley, Patrick Wilson, Don Feeson in it. And what's it about? Well, the title basically says it. Let's Kill Ward's Wife. Ward's wife is miserable. She hates everyone. Nothing's her fault. She hates her husband. She hates her friends. She hates her baby. She basically hates everyone in the world. She's a bad mother. She doesn't change her kid's diaper. She's just a bad person in general. So they fantasize during a golf game, not war, because war couldn't go on the Father's Day golf game because he had to stay home. But they fantasize, why don't we just kill Ward's wife? And of course, they're like, ah, it'll be a fun thing, but we don't kill someone. But one of them kills her because she misinterpreted a phone call. That's basically it. A misinterpreted phone call caused the person to slam her face in cake, her fall, and strangulation. And so now we get the story of how do we dispose of this body, aka Ward's wife. So does this premise sound familiar? Yes, you've probably seen it from Rough Night, which is not a good movie, and Very Bad Things, which is a very awesome movie. So think about Very Bad Things, let's kill Ward's wife. Not by quality, what do you say quality? but the actual premise and what happens because very bad things takes things to an extremely awesome just oh my god level and this one's just more of like oh we got to cut her here see all her up and what's the plan of attack to get dispose of the body so the good of the movie very very quick pace it's only 81 minutes it happens in a flash and there are some comedic moments mostly by patrick wilson everything else it's very ho-hum the story's been completely done before. There is absolutely nothing new in this movie at all. I guess that's the other thing. There was no real big hiccups in the movie at all. It was, it was too perfect. Too perfect to kill someone. Like I said in the beginning, it was a well-go USA release. So I was wondering if it even got a USA release. It says it did it on a $5 million budget. I couldn't find any numbers of it making any money in the States. I just know it was a Tribeca Film Festival movie. Hence, I think that's the people that actually distributed it, and that's it. So I couldn't find any dollar amounts of it in the theater. But other than that, it's all right directing, all right acting. I mean, the movie's there to be there. If you want to kill 81 minutes, you could do a lot less, but it's completely a been there, done that movie. The really only standout is Patrick Wilson in this movie. All right, let's kill Ward's wife. We'll receive a two out of five blue food taunt, which equals a 40%. Now let's see what Rotten Tomatoes, critics, and user scores gave Let's Kill Ward's Wife. All right, tomato meter, 70% critics, 29% audience score, and there's no critic consensus. So there you have it, I have a 40, users have a 29, critics have a 17. So I guess we're kind of close, but not so much. But like I said, premise could completely done before, multiple times. It's a been there, done that movie, 81 minutes of your time, some cheesy dialogue. It's a movie that is there. And that's all I could really say. But this is Chase Saki with the Blue Futon. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think of this Blue Futon utopia. You Blue Futonian, you might as well ring that bell, subscribe, do whatever you want, because who knows what YouTube's gonna do in the next three, six, nine, 12, 15, 18, 24 years. But thank you for watching and have a great day. But seriously, the way they kill Ward's wife is probably the best way to do it. Which can happen if you're in the Nevada desert. You just bury someone 10 feet deep, throw the body in the desert, dig it up, middle of the night, you're done. You're done. No one's going in that desert. Have you not been in Nevada? It's 99% desert. No one's there. Except Las Vegas and Reno. Everything else? Eh. Eh. <laughs>